Miami, the Shenzhen city, one of the state's most popular vacation spots, lying along the gorgeous coastline, where the destinations are often set to offer from beautiful beach, warm weather, and high-end hotels. Miami got it all. I'm Mark Feng. Welcome to my journey in Shenzhen city. We just landed to Miami. Uh, rented this car this weekend. My plan is going to Gator Park after I land and then go to Shark Valley. Everglades National Park is only one hour driving from Miami. This 1.5 million acre of wetlands are home to hundreds of animal species. It attracted at least one million visitors to visit. Got to this alligator boat riding. We are going to buy the tour. It's like $74 for two person. But I would take us and show us around the Everglades and then they are going to do a little alligator shows. So we will see gators. People are getting light to get up. Yeah, uh -huh. All right, we're gonna load the boat one row at a time, please. All right, now, there are all alligators here. We're gonna have to look. We are ready to go. So he is going up for the boat. With me luck in fighting some gator. Let's go! It was really loud because I was sitting in the back, so I have to put the a puck on. So on the way that we're passing this slouch, there are a lot of marrow parries. And then the wind is really strong, I just keep blowing my head, almost blow it up. But in the middle, when we go deeper into the rainforest area, we see more trees and more grass. When we stop by to this area where is a lot of marrow parry, aka grass. These grass are probably the most common images that associate with Everclay National Park. Now we are slowing down to see if we could find any wildlife. All right, now, this bird right here is the largest of the heron family. Uh, That's the great blue heron. The Everglades National Park recognized by the UNESCO World Heritage in 1979. There are many boat tours like this would take you around the park to find wildlife and biodiversity. Also, to keep in mind, National Park cell phone signal is really limited. We are following the team going inside an alligator shows where they're showing alligators. Let's go. After the boat riding, now we got to enjoy this alligator show with included with the tour. We are about to go into this alligator shows. Look at this alligator. And another alligator coming. Look at this. Most of the alligators that hatch out here end up getting eaten at some point. He's very funny. <laughs> we got to enjoy a little bit of the alligator show, which is really fun. The guy was doing a phenomenal job into bringing the story together. Coming to this uh, Shark Valley, which is like five minutes away from the Gator Park, you guys can take the tram to go around the park. You can run the bicycle and to ride around the park. Apparently, there is a sign over here that's saying we should not disturb wildlife. Grab the camera and see if we could find anything. Now I'm just walking over here. There are a lot of wildlife that you might able to see. I saw like one or two turtles. Now it's already late. A lot of people uh, stop going in the park. Park is closed at 6 p.m. Miami right now. We're trying to find the hotel to check in. We are checking into the hotel. This is the lobby. Let me just show you guys the room. We go in here. This is like the bedroom, one queen bed. On the side, it is a uh, a televisions and stuff. Check in pretty late. I'm just gonna relax for a little bit. We are in South Beach. I'm walking toward to the beach area. Tonight we having the reservations at the Versace Mansions. That is the restaurant we're going in tonight. Right now, just gonna go in here and wait for the table. I guess it's actually looking really nice. The purple light make everything look better. Got to believe this was an assassination house of the late fashion designer Gianni Versace back in 1997, and it turned into the luxury hotel restaurant in 2015, operated by new owner. A lot of the architecture is still remain the same, with a room price for $550 and up. I made the reservation three days in advance. So this is the table we got for now. Let me just flip the camera around just to show you guys the environment and the vibe here. And a lot of people are sitting. Get that pretty much, you know, like over there is a pool. It's look really fancy. And then like the whole entire space over here looks just like really rich, really elegant here. Right now, I'm just gonna go ahead and look at the menu and see what am I gonna order. This is a 24 karat gold margarita. 
margarita. I got my place over here, little salad, little fried foods, fried calamari. It's just like a regular fried calamari, I'm guessing. It looks very crispy. Let's dip into the tomato sauce. It's like right here. Amazing. Try a little salad. Mm. Have my lobster pasta here. Uh, scoop is out so little. Ah, it actually still hot. This is a giant, forty-eight dollars. The dinner was great. The totals of view come up with two hundred twenty, with tax and tips included. Right now, I'm just gonna try to walk to the beach for a little bit. But look back from here, you see like the street lights and everything, the nightlife is still going on like really late. It's really night moonlight for tonight. Good morning. Right now, I'm just going out here to check out the pool. It's just early. People are still cleaning up this morning. We actually start swimming in the mornings already. The hotel is super nice. There's a sunrise in Miami Beach. It is just beautiful morning. People are doing yoga in the back. This is Miami South Beach in the morning where a lot of people are walking around here, this area. Really calm and quiet morning. This morning we decided to go grab some breakfast at this Americano restaurant located at the Hotel Victor. Well, let's go to this restaurant so we can try the breakfast. This is the breakfast menu. Sip on a little smoothie. Mmm. I just so amazing. I can taste the coconut flavors and the berries at the same time. And then this is my American breakfast omelette with a little English muffin. I mean, omelettes is always like just omelettes. But the way how presentations, I love the presentations. At least this one look really clean to me. I'm just gonna have some of my breakfast to head on to do something else. After breakfast, we drove around the city for a little bit and then we went to Four Seasons Hotel for a meeting. This hotel is as nice as the Fountain Blue. They have a super cute gelato cart over here where you can see and bicycles for the get to borrow. And I also played with the soccer view just for being silly on camera. It's time for me to grab some lunch with my friend. Alyssa just got me this little mocktail. Now we're back to the restaurant. The Red Passeray located inside the Four Seasons Hotel. It was quiet when we got there, so we ordered some clam pasta and the shrimp risotto. Total of $100, which is not bad at all. We went outside of the balcony looking out to the pool and we see this friendly cyclist and waving to us. Now we are going down to the beach. It's just really beautiful. The beach here is super private. Not a lot of people here. <laughs> <laughs> Let's jump into the water. Ooh. Rented this bike. Now I'm just uh, riding the bike around, trying to find something interesting to do. Running to Colleen's Avenue. Honestly, you can live in Miami without checking out the nightlife where restaurant and bar turn on the neon light. We are at Night Street. You can walk around, but I chose to ride a bicycle to go around city, so that's where I can go more places. Look at them, so cute. <laughs> <laughs> this is so cool. I just saw a bunch of girls and then they cheering at me. This is uh, amazing. For dinner, I recommend this restaurant located at 7 and Collins Avenue. I decided to stop my bike and just go in for some food. This is my must-go restaurant every time that I'm in Miami because of the menu and also the mixes crowd between tourists and locals. I'm gonna go ahead and order my dinner. Uh, let's take a second look at the menu. You will be impressed by the varieties of menu selections from smoothie soup to daily spec show. Let's be honest, how often could we find a good Cuban restaurant? I order a bunch of foods. I mean a bunch, which is like a lot. Beforehand, they also give us some of the butter bread, which is amazing. Mm. I just crispy. I got this coconut shrimp. It's twenty-two dollars. You dipping with this uh, yellow sauce. Take a sip of sour sauce. It's amazing. I got a big kingfish here. I'm just gonna cut it and give it first bite. I love the food so far. Dinner was great. We are going to bike around South Beach. 
He is the iconic Ocean Drive where all the bars, restaurants located, and they attract the visitors with their beautiful neon lights at night. People are having so much fun. We have the tropical cafe in here. A lot of people are walking on the sidewalk. A lot of light, super busy street. People over there partying. A lot of bar and clubs. See the drag performance going on over there. This is just fun. A lot of people hang out in the area. Try to go in here, this ice cream shop. Let's grab some ice cream. Look at all these ice cream, so colorful. I just got these orange chocolate and another one is hazelnut. Mm. It's dripping. That's called ice cream. I'm screaming and eating it at the same time. <laughs> I'm just picking it up. After roaming through the ocean dry, it is good ideas for me to shop by to Washington Avenues and Espanola Ways. There are many restaurants that offer different cuisines from Cubans, Italians, American, and Japanese, or even seafoods. The vibe here is a little bit more relaxing with gardens and more trees, which just so amazing. If you're walking all the way down, there are a lot of bars and restaurants. It's connected to Lincoln Mall. There's a coffee shop with some light music. So right now, I'm walking back to our hotel. So that's pretty much my night. It was a great time hanging out as my army with such so many things to offer from Foods Hotel, Everglades National Park, and White Sand Bridges. Until then, I will be back soon.